Hello everyone, this is Felix Art. This is a tutorial on how to use the color wheel to paint your artwork. So yeah, as you can see in the screen, I'm done with the, um, I've sketched the, like I'm done with the outline, then the, um, the color foundation. So if you don't know how to do those things, you can check my description below on this video. So um, let's start. So um, you can see the color foundation I used, okay, the color foundation I used, that's this layer, okay, the color foundation I used, I used the color picker to pick from this particular side, okay, but it doesn't mean you can use any color foundation, but I picked this side here because I just want to test it, okay, so um, uh, this was my first attempt in um, um, doing uh, this type of style. Okay, so um, they call this type uh, traditional uh, painting, whereby you you uh, use multiple colors to paint to paint uh, many objects. Let's say you want to paint um, someone's picture or still life or animal, all those type of stuff. So um, I use the color wheel to add colors, but first I use color picker to pick from the reference. So that was the only one I did. Okay, so um, yeah, um, you just need to to lock this layer. Okay, so this layer, just make sure to lock the uh, layer that is the um, color foundation. Okay, so I'm going to lock it. So once you lock it, now you're wondering um, what to do, like how to add colors. Okay, so um, it's very easy. On that same layer, okay, on this three layer you're going to use the color wheel so no uh, no more copy color on this okay so I have to use the color wheel so now um, before you start painting you just have to study the reference because you can see there are multiple colors on the reference face okay you can see that yeah there are light brown dark brown with gray colors blue orange red Okay, but um, you 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 can't see all those things yet. So um, everything just um, let's say um, just gradual process. Okay, so like you just need to practice every time when um, doing uh, this type of art style. So um, what I did here, I used the color wheel. Okay, so then I adjust like I just did some adjustments. So um, you can see as you are picking from the square side you can see that the color here changes okay so you have to um to change to uh, pick the right color okay so i'm going to use let me start with this place here like i'm going to start i'm going to start from here okay i will start from this particular side so what i will do here very easy just look at the reference you can see that this side here has this light color okay so now you just you you look for this color and look for this color okay you just look for these two colors in the color wheel so what you just do here you just use the color wheel you can set this this reference aside then you then click on the color wheel okay you just put it here then you click on the color wheel then you have to adjust those colors to know if you're getting it so i've already gotten this first color okay now what i'll do is here is that i'm going to add it just add it here like this okay so once you add that part then you look for this color okay so what you just do here is go to the color wheel you just look for color that is similar to the one on the reference okay then then you're going to add it here you can see so once you add that part so now we have already added uh, two color then we have to add some orange okay you can see we need to add some orange and red so you just go to, go to your copy color look for orange 
so um, you don't need to use the actual orange you just have to use something that is close to that that color then you add it here like this okay then you can use the color picker to pick from here then reduce the uh, opacity down you can just take it down then you add it like this okay just like that so i'm still going to add some some colors okay I will, I will add some colors first now we have added one two three four we have added four four colors now okay so once you are done with that part then we can add some colors right here so we just repeat the same process use the color picker to pick somewhere here like this then i want to fix this one right here Then look for something like this. Then you add. So um, I'm going to use the color picker to pick from this side. Then add here. So once I'm done with that part, then I can use the color picker to pick from here again. Then add this side. Then use here to add this side. So what to, to do next in this video? Okay. You just use your smudge brush okay use your smudge brush then set the flow to you can set the flow to 15 then you start to blend So once you start to blend, this is how it's, it's going to look like, okay. So this is how it's going to look like, okay. So um, this process looks looks easy. Once you are good um, good at uh, at at it, then um, you won't have any problem, okay. You just need to uh, to add multiple colors. So I'm just using the color picker to pick from this side. You okay, see, there you have it. So now um, I'm going to go to the eyes part. Okay. Um, right now, once once you are done with the forehead, um, um, like you you don't need to go to the color wheel um, every time. Okay. Let's say those are parts um, that you can't find on the. Uh, on the forehead then you can use the color wheel okay so um, what I'll do here is that I'll use this color picker to pick from this side then add here like this okay so let's add to that part like this okay you can see so once I add, I add to that part then I can use the color picker to pick from this side So guys, don't worry. Um, you just need to to focus more on the on the colors, okay? Because uh, once you 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 add the right colors, then you can use the um, you can use the smudge brush to blend. So now you can see I'm just using the color picker to adjust. I don't need to use the light color. I'll just switch like this, then add something here just add this color here like here so now what so what to do now you can use this much brush 
to blend this particular place okay then you can add some colors just add some few colors at the top so the tool i'm using to pick the color the pen tool i'm using i'm using the paint and pad okay i'm using the paint stamp pad to add those colors to um to pick those colors so um you can see just little smudge on the on the eyes then you, then you are good to go okay just like that so now at at this point what to do here okay just use your smudge brush then you blend this side just blend it like this just blend okay you just blend it like that now we are going to use the color picker to pick from this side again then just add the eye sack like this so once you add that part then you can use the color picker to pick from this side then you add it here now at this point you don't need to add any color in this particular side okay you don't need, need to add any color here you just use the smudge brush to join this side like this you see you don't need to add multiple colors okay you don't need to add much colors on that side okay you can see now i'm going to use the smudge brush again then to drag this part down okay you can see then drag it like this then blend so once you're done with that part now i can use the color picker to pick from from this side then add here then use a smudge brush to blend okay then use the color picker to pick from this side you can see i'm just using different types of colors just using different types of colors to create all these tones so um let's say if you want to be good at this Add, like if you want to learn this this um, style you just need to practice more like you just need to practice every day okay like daily practice so people that will uh, will understand this very fast uh, uh, are those people that uh, knows how to use the smudge brush very well because once you're using the smudge brush you know how to blend how to set the the um you know how how to set it the right way because let's say if you're not good at, uh, at, at at the brush you won't get some parts that that um, that well okay like you won't get some some easy parts once you're not good with the smudge brush so now you can see you um, don't need to so um, go to the color wheel every time just need to use the one you have okay just need to use the, uh, the copy color to pick from from the reference so i'll just pick from this side here then add it so once i add that part then i use a smudge brush i can also add here also just add this place like this then use a smudge brush to blend just like that okay so once i'm done with that particular side then i'll go back to the forehead just to make some adjustments Then go to this side like this. 
okay so um i'm going to draw the eyes i'm going to paint the eyes sorry i'm going to, I'm going to paint, uh, paint the eyes then i'll use the color black okay you just add it like this now use the color picker to pick from this particular side here then you add it okay you can see now i'll just take the luminance down okay then add it here again like this so once you add that part then you can use your smudge brush to blend So once you're done with that part, then you can use the color picker to pick from here again. Then you add some some light color over there. Then use a smudge brush to blend. Okay, so um, that's it. Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to use the same process I did here. There to to um complete the other eyes. So now um, I will show you what to do here. Okay, like I said, um, you just use the same process I I did in the um, in the first eye. So um, I'm already done with that. So um, just what to do here? Then you can see that you need to add some light colors here. Okay, so you just use the color picker to pick from this side. Okay, then I'm going to add it. I'm going to use the painter part to add it like this. So now we are going to mix it with some colors. You can mix it with the, with this one. Then you just drag it up. Okay. Then you add. Now use the color picker to pick from this side. Then you add the shadow. Okay. Then use the color picker again to pick from this side again. Then you add here. So once you're done with that side, then you can use a smudge brush to blend. Okay, you can see. So now, once you are done with that part, okay, then we are going to head over to, um, to the nose side. So um, 
right here we are going to use the color picker again to pick from the forehead then we're going to add it here add it here like this then use the color picker again to pick from this side to add this shadow here Then I'm going to use the color picker again to, to pick from this side. Then you can add it here like this. Just to put some highlights. So um you can use the color picker to start adding. Just pick the color, then you add it, then you add all this side here like this. Now we are going to use the color picker to pick some dark colors to add as shadow. Then use the color picker again to pick some highlights. Just use the light color. Just add some light color here. Okay. Then you can also use the light color again to add on this side here, like this. Now use the color picker again to pick from this side. But at this time around, you can take it down like this, then to, to add here. Okay, just to make it look um, thick. Okay, then you just go back to this side right here. Then you add, add this color. So now we can use the smudge brush to blend this part. So now um, I'm going to use, use the color picker again to pick from this side. Then I'm going to add here. Okay. Then use the color picker again to add some dark colors here. Then use the color picker again to pick from this side. Then add here also. Then use the color picker again to pick to add this side. Then use a smudge brush to blend. So now once we are done with that part, okay, we are going to use some dark colors. We're going to use some dark colors to add in the inner nose just use some dark colors you can use black okay then use use your smudge brush to blend okay now what to do here is very easy what to do at uh, this particular side i'm just going to use the color picker to pick from this side here from this side then i'm going to add it all through just add it here like this okay then once you are done adding now you can use the smudge brush to blend to blend these sides like this Can you see? Then use the then use the um, color picker to pick from this side. Then you add some highlights here. So if um, you pick the wrong color, you can just click here like this. Then just go back. Okay. Then pick something. Something close to that color, then just do it like this. Okay, so this is how it's gonna look like something like this. Then use your smudge brush to blend.
ok so what to do next you can use the uh, just use the smudge brush again to, uh, the um, color picker to pick from this side then you can take it down a bit then you add to the mouth side okay then add some shadows I'm going to use the color picker to pick from from this side then add some shadows here I use this much brush to blend now you can still mix some colors you can add some colors you can also use the color picker to pick from this side okay then add some highlights here Add some highlights here. Okay, then use the smudge brush to blend. So like I said earlier, um, this tutorial is for those um, who are good for um, who are good with the smudge brush. Okay, because if you're not good with the smudge brush, you won't get you won't get the whole the whole process that well. Okay, so um, these are for those who are good with the with the um, smudge brush. So I'm just using the smudge brush to to arrange the colors well. I'm just using the smudge brush to to um, make sure it's not going the wrong side. Okay. So I'm just using the smudge brush. I'm just using the smudge brush to set the whole thing um, very well. So um, once you're done with that part, okay. Once you're done with that with that part, then you can use the color picker to pick from here. Now use the smudge brush to blend. Now we are going to use the color picker again to pick from this side. Okay, then add it here. So once I'm done adding, you can mix it with this color. I'm going to add it here like this. You can use the smudge brush to blend. So we can see add some we can see add some colors. So I um, can see just use the color picker to pick from this side. Then I'm going to add here again. Then use a smudge brush to blend. Okay. 
So now um, you can see that there are some re some reflections on the face, on the jaw side, this side. So what to do here? You just use your color picker. Now your color wheel. Then look for sky blue. Then you add it. Okay. Then once you add that part, then you can use a smudge brush to blend. So now once I'm done with that side, now I can go over to the mouth, then add some colors. Just um, I will use the dark color, so add here like this, then add to the other side. So what to do here? You just use a smudge brush to blend. Okay, so once you're done with that side, you just have to blend it very well. Okay, so once you are done, you can add some, just add something here like this. Then I can add the beard over here. Okay. Then use the color picker to pick from this side. Okay. Then add it here like this. Then use the color picker to pick from here. You don't need to pick from this side. Just pick from this side here. Then I'll add. Okay. Then use the then use the color picker to pick from the from the color foundation. Then take it down a bit. I'm going to add this shadow here. Okay, you can see. So now I'm going to use the color picker to pick from here, then add here like this. Then add some 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 light color here. So once you're done with that part, then you can use smudge brush to blend. Now use this, then uh, you can use a small brush to blend the beard like this. Okay. Now I'm going to use the um, use the color picker. I'm going to use the color picker to pick from this side, pick from here. Then I'm going to add, I'm going to add this side like this. Okay. Then use the color picker to pick from this side here again. To add here. Then use some highlights. Add it here like this. Okay, you can see. So once you are done with that part, then you can use the smudge brush to blend.
So I'm just using the smudge brush to make some um, adjustments. Okay. I'm using the smudge brush to make some adjustments. So now we are going to draw the lips, okay? I'm going to draw, um, add some colors on the lips, okay? So I'll just use the color picker to pick from this side. Then I'm going to add this color. Then I use the color picker again to pick from the color foundation. Then take it down a bit and add it. Then use, then use the smudge brush to blend. Okay. So now at this point, you can add some highlights. First, you just pick on the color picker. Then you add here like this. There is then pick on the color foundation, just take the color like this and add just to create this uh, pinkish um, color. Then you blend. Okay. Now I'm going to go back here, use the color picker to pick from this side. Then add that particular side. Just add here like this, then use a smudge brush to blend. Okay. Then then pick from this side, just take the luminance up, then add here. Then use a the smudge brush to blend. So now once you are done with that part, then you can add some colors on the neck. Just use the color picker to, to pick from here. Then you add this color. Like this. Then use the color picker again to pick from here. Pick from this side. Then you add. Then use a smudge brush to blend. Okay, then using the color picker again to pick from this side, then you add it here, then, you, then use a smudge brush to blend. So if you want you can see add some colors, I'll just use the color picker to pick here, then take the luminous up like this, add here. And add the side. Then use a smudge brush to blend. So now at this point, you can see add some highlights. Okay, I'll use the color picker to pick from here. Then add like this. Then use use the smudge brush to blend. Okay, then I'll go over to the other side. Use the same process. Then use a smudge brush to blend.
okay so now we, um, I'm still going to uh, make some uh, some adjustments I will, I will use the color picker to pick from here then add some lights some light colors then use the smudge brush to blend then I make some adjustments over here So now I'm going to move over to the eyes, um, to the ear. You can just add some few colors. You don't need to add much. Just add some few colors over there. You see, I'm just using like like um, two colors. Then yeah, use this much brush to blend. Okay. Then yeah, go back to the ear, to the other ear. Repeat that same process. Then use the color picker to add this color. Let's add some light color. Then use this much brush to blend. So there you have it, okay. So now we're going to add some details on the cap. So those go to this layer, then you lock it, okay. So once you lock it, now you can just use the color picker to pick from this. Then take the luminous up. Then you add this color. Now we can use your you can use your flow brush. At this time you just use your flow brush. Take the luminance down like this. Then you can start adding some shadows over here. Okay. So now once you're done, you can add some some light color. Let's add some white colors. Okay. Now we'll, they will go back to this layer right here. That that is the uh, the spec. So I'll just go there. Then add some few colors there. Make sure to lock the layer. Just add some few um, some few colors like this. Now, now I'll go back. To you go back to the uh, to this layer right here then add some some white color okay then use a smudge brush to blend then add some 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 white colors here again just add some few details like this then use, this, then use your smudge brush to blend. Okay. 
and they have it. Okay, this is how to use the color wheel to to paint.